Notice as they enter the hotel are these incredible doors. Uh, you'll notice these big brass spigots mounted to the doors and those are an Indian detail that was put on doors in India to keep elephants from pushing the doors open. They never really had any elephants here in Zanzibar to worry about. But the detail remained when they started building these places. It's very popular. And here we see the super friendly staff. Hello guys, hello, hello, good morning. And uh, here's Tanya sitting here waiting for me to get this darn tour over with. So we'll try not to take too long. And uh, here we go. So walking down the hallway uh, towards our room, we're gonna go up these stairs to the second level, which is where we are at. Before we go up the stairs, we're gonna take a quick look at these antiques in the lobby. And they actually have two pianos here. I tested one, it was in tune. So let's assume the other one was in tune too. So up we go onto the second floor here. Uh, beautiful mahogany stairs, mahogany doors, everything all crafted right here. There you can see the antique electrical system. Uh, I think the electrical was added after the building was built. Give you an idea what the place looked like before the renovation. That was about the condition of it. That is the age of the Tembo Hotel. So it was remarkable what they've done. So here we go. The maids are in cleaning our room. Hi girls, how you doing? Hi, <laughs> and it's not our room anymore, we're out of here. So it was a very small room, smaller than we had uh, imagined, but it was fun. Filled with antiques once again. So here we go down the mahogany stairs, mahogany walls. No shortage of hardwood here in Africa, of course. So we're going to head down to the lobby now, uh, where we started our tour, and uh, some nice local art on the wall here for us to see. And... Uh, Beautiful all original art, and out we go. So an Omani hotel, the style of this hotel is an Omani architecture. And uh, they're all in uh, quite often a circular shape with a pool in the middle or a U shape with a pool in the middle. It's not quite as common, but we are oceanfront. So that's why the hotel has been built this way to allow you access to go out one end and where you can see the view you get of the beautiful Indian Ocean. So, uh, really enjoyed our time here. Once again, you can take a look at the building, see the uh, wooden decks that have been all restored. Uh, that is also a part of uh, Zanzibar Stone Town architecture that you will see. Uh, imagine this would be quite simple if you built the buildings uh, and then just added the balconies on after like this, sort of similar to what we do in Western culture, but uh, that way the, the continuous wall just runs right through and a uh, very strong way to build. So once again, you can take a look at the amazing renovation they've done here. The colors, uh, very African, very Swahili, combined with uh, Omani architecture. And it almost feels a bit Egyptian when you see a lot of the black and white tile. On our left here, we're gonna see the uh, breakfast area. Uh, some folks still sitting there. It's open all day. They just uh, change the meals to lunch. It's the lunch dinner. It's the only uh, area that they have. This is a lounge over to the right where you can get ice cream and some other things, drinks, coffees, uh, which is also very nice. And as we go out the back of the hotel onto this long tiled patio deck, we see the Indian Ocean, which is so beautiful. The water here is incredibly clean. I don't think I've ever been to a a major harbor of a country and seeing such beautiful clear water. Taking a look back at the uh, at the hotel, the rounded doors at the end there, that's another suite. All the little wood boats that you can see along the shoreline here are tour boats. One of the tours that's very common is that they take you to Prison Island, which you can just see peeking out behind that freighter out in the harbor. Good morning. Good morning. How, How are, are you? you? Good. Everything okay? Yes, everything's okay. And uh, you can sit here and watch the activity of the harbor. It's uh, always something going on. You see the tourists coming and going. And I mean, if you want to go on a tour, how more convenient can it be than to just walk onto the boat from your hotel? You can't beat that. Sand is beautiful. White, sugary sand. It's all very clean, very safe. There's a dow out in the distance. The fishermen go out at night and they come back in the morning under sail, dragging their nets. That is the way they've done it for thousands of years. And they're still doing it. It's an amazing thing to see. Make sure you get some pictures of that if you come. So 
So there's another little bit of an overview of the hotel. We had a few breakfasts out here and some inside. The location of the hotel right in the Shinganzi area of Stonetown was absolutely dynamite. You were walking distance to everything down there on the beach. There's a, a great restaurant uh, to go to for dinner and there's uh, many restaurants in town. I mean, you can't even count as how many restaurants there are. Every hotel has a restaurant and there are many that are located on the, uh, the rooftops of the hotels. The most famous ones being Emerson and Emerson Spice uh, with their set menu. You have to check that out when you're here. So you can walk along this beach and see it all if you'd like. There they are uh, maintaining one of their boats. Gives you an idea. They're all wood like I had mentioned. And somebody selling, I don't know, sheets? <laughs> I'm not sure what he had there. So if you like people watching, the beach is a cool spot here because uh, at night it fills up. Some nights on the weekends, it'll be hundreds if not thousands of people with the locals coming out with their families. A lot of soccer gets played on these beaches. So here we go, going back in here now. Going to take you up with this uh, spiral staircase that you saw along the back. Takes you up to kind of a hidden deck area. Here we have a nice infinity pool. Looking out at the bay, there's a dow in the distance there. And then uh, as we look around up here, you get another view of the architecture, which is really, really neat. Most welcome, yeah. It is Temple Hotel, so you're welcome to Temple Hotel. Man, it's our breakfast. Okay. So we have a fruit here. Yeah. Different fruit. Also, we have uh, some dish, different dish. Some croissant, beef, and then we have a sausage, chicken. And then also we have a chef for the omelette outside. Right. Yeah. Excellent. You're welcome. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you. Now you're a YouTube star. <laughs> In Africa, you find that people are, are they get so excited when they see the camera come out, which is nice. There's nothing worse than trying to do a little video and everybody's hitting the floor as you're walking through the room. But super nice, friendly, professional people here. Very warm and inviting. I highly recommend coming to Africa. So that's about it for the Tembo Hotel. Work our way back into the lobby. Once again, the incredible doors. So thank you so much for joining the Rusty Traveler for this little video of the Tembo Hotel. Please subscribe, share, like, comment. It's really appreciated by ourselves. We do these videos just to share information with everyone and we really like to, to know people uh, are looking at them and enjoying them and getting some information. So we will uh, post the rates now on the hotel so to, uh, you can get to your computer and do a booking through booking.com or anyone else you like. So thank you for watching Honesty Traveler and uh, we'll see you on the road.